There's something special about the Word of God. It isn't just ink on paper. It's alive and has the power to change our lives from the inside out. Today we want to share with you four specific verses that we believe will transform your mind if you take them to heart. These verses are like anchors, holding us steady no matter what life throws our way. Let's dive right into it. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you, in his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. What a picture this verse paints. God is not a distant deity, just watching from heaven with a cold heart. He is right here with you, actively saving you. Many of us have a hard time believing that. Maybe you've felt like a failure or that your past has disqualified you from God's love. But this verse says God rejoices over you with singing. You are his joy. His warrior strength is for your salvation, but his heart is all about loving you deeply and completely. When the enemy whispers that you're not enough, that you've messed up too much for God to love you, remember Zephaniah 3 verse 17. Picture God singing over you. When you embrace this, it changes everything. You stop striving for approval and start living in the confidence that you are already deeply loved. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in Him. This verse is a comfort during seasons of hardship. Notice Nahum doesn't say, if trouble comes. He says, in times of trouble. We all go through tough seasons, whether it's grief, financial struggles, or overwhelming anxiety. But Nahim reminds us that God is our refuge, a safe place where we can run and be protected. More than that, He truly cares for those who trust in Him. The world may let you down, but God never will. When trouble comes, don't try to carry it all by yourself. God is your refuge. Stop, take a deep breath, and bring it all before Him. He cares for you personally, and His goodness will be your anchor in the storm. Sometimes just knowing He cares is enough to ease the burden. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place, I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. This verse is for those of us who feel like the best is behind us. Maybe you've lost something valuable, your health, a relationship, or even your sense of purpose. God's promise in Haggai is that the future holds even greater glory than the past. Don't mourn what's lost forever, because God is still at work. He promises that what's coming is greater than what's gone, and in the process, He grants you peace. What a word for anyone walking through a rebuilding season. If you feel like your life has been reduced to rubble, take heart, God is building something new. Hold on to the promise that what's ahead is better than what's been left behind. Trust Him to bring peace as you wait for His greater glory to unfold in your life. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer, he enables me to tread on the heights. Habakkuk's world was falling apart when he declared this. Everything around him seemed like it was crumbling, but he found strength in God. This verse paints an image of a deer effortlessly climbing high rocky places. Just like that deer, God strengthens us to rise above whatever circumstances we face. Even when life is overwhelming, God gives us the grace to navigate those difficult places. He makes our feet swift and sure, enabling us to keep going even when we feel like giving up. When life feels like you're walking on rocky, unstable ground, remember that God is your strength. He gives you spiritual feet that can handle the hard paths. Trust Him to help you rise above your circumstances and reach new heights in faith. 
You aren't walking this path alone, he's equipping you with the strength you need. These four verses are packed with promises that can bring real lasting change in your life. God is with you. He strengthens you to overcome any challenge. As you meditate on these scriptures, allow them to transform your heart and mind. Don't just read them. Live them. Amen. Thanks for watching, and if you're ready to keep going deeper into God's Word, watch the next video to continue growing in faith and understanding.